welcome again and welcome to tonight's presentation from Florian Schenk, who is from Comunado and who joins us tonight from Hannover. And he will tell us something about how to create, yeah, let's call it a holistic digital workplace by integrating Microsoft and Atlassian which uh, a couple of years ago, if you have asked me if that's possible, I would have said no. But with everybody moving into the cloud, it has become a lot easier, I guess. So Florian will tell us all about it, that. And with that, Florian, over to you. And I will just disappear and see you on the other side. So welcome uh, from my side. Uh, yes, uh, I'm Florian Ching from the company Comunado. Uh, I'm located personally in, in Hanover. I'm a business consultant for change management uh, for the digital workplace, uh, uh, for first, uh, first way uh, for Microsoft 365. But um, my second part, I will do IT strategy consulting and yes, so that's my part to present you the holistic digital workplace in my presentation today. So, yes, what do you think? Um, many companies have Microsoft and Atlassian tools, applications. Um, you, you can see here both, both, both worlds. And yes, we, our topic is to to do to demonstrate how Microsoft 365 and Atlassian can be connected. Normally, from from our customers, we see that usually we have barriers and borders between the both worlds, and so on. And um, yes. Now we, we, we can see some developed that these both worlds are connected in the future. And yes, I will demonstrate you how we, you can use integrations to create for you a digital workplace. So for first time, A question, why can we travel comfortably along such paths? What do you think? We can travel to, to this path because suspension and damping offer us this comfort so that we don't notice anything. First statement. Second statement, why we can we access easily information from different sources? because integration make it easier for us to access so that we have as few obstacles as possible. You see on the, other side, uh, on, the, on the one side, we have the car example, and this is our example for, for integration. So what are the challenges of, um, of the digital workplace? First, time, time, time. You see, 61% of knowledge workers need to access four or more systems. On the other side, 30% need to access 11 or more systems on, on the daily basic work. So you think, uh, you see that the information for the knowledge workers is not easy. The knowledge worker must must see how, where can I find my information? The challenge is a high load of every employee and as a result, a result the high loss of time to find right information uh, to do your best uh, daily business. So let's take a look at the current sit situations and companies. First, yes, Microsoft C65 is an answer, but non-answer to all questions. 
you see this is a by, uh, so example that you have a lot of other applications, uh, business applications, and so on in, in your company. So, yes, it's for 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 the, for, for the user, it's very horrible to 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 find the right application. So on on the other on the side of of users today, the status quo, you have different silos different parts in the company. You have office tools, you have intranet, collaboration platforms, enterprise social network, you have business applications. But these five or more zillows are not connected and not tell, uh, communicate with, with, with each other. So you have the problem that with the information of of these silos are uh, separately. Yeah? So you have amount of available information incre increasing continuously. The distribution of information increasing significantly for users. Users have to move a more complex IT landscape. You see the, the users are very frustrated in, uh, for, for the site. And yes, uh, that I say, redundancies of functions, informations. So it's very, very problem for the users. So summarize, you, you don't have an overview of information. Or well, at Lesson Confluence and GUI play together with Microsoft 65. First information, informations are scattered. You have some information where the scattered. You have missing overview about your task. You have tasks in conference, in Outlook as email. You have planner, Jira, and so on. Or task on your paper, on your desk. And the last, you have unclear projects. Where, where are my documents to my project? Where can I find workspace to my project? So you see, you don't have an overview of information with, with this lot of tools and application in your organization. And the solution on the one side is you have a digital, you, you can create a digital workplace hub. It's an alternative approach. The digital workplace hub is the access to the digital landscape of the available application. For, for the users, you see it, they will support through integration, aggregation of information. They can pan, personalize and they will support with intelligence. So they have a better life and a better daily work um, and also a easier daily work. So how do you use Atlassian applications with Microsoft 365? Our solution is the Commonado Digital Workplace Hub. We have a solution to integrate Atlassian and Office 365 in a digital workplace. So you have th two perspectives. On the one side, you have a personal hub with activities, information, tasks, di digital spaces. On the other side, you have thematic hubs. You have projects, topics, and you have uh, connections to other um, other business application. So let me show let me show you some illustrations about the solution. The Commonado Workplace Hub huh, is a SharePoint online solution based on SharePoint Online, and 
On this side, we have connected the SharePoint Online side with yes, with an intranet. So you have four different sections. They called News, My Cockpit, Space Navigator, and Task Hub. And you see, you can this tools, we, we, we aggregate information from Jira, Confluence, Microsoft Teams, Outlook, and Planner, and display and show, uh, display this on our SharePoint online site. So you have your news at a glance. You have a central, decentralized, and personalized overview of your information. In this section news, you can communicate top down and bottom up. You can personalize and you have all news in one place for the use case of um, the communication department, like intranet uh, or social internet on this side. Further, you can have you can show news and digital spaces from Office 365 and the lesson conference. You can display um, news from, from projects, from uh, team sites or so on. This is the news section. The second se section, the My Cockpit, is the central hub for my work all in one place on, all, uh, on one side. So I will stay up to date. I see any changes and I receive notifications. So every changes are transparent for me. On this side, I have the possibility to show my task from Office 365 and at least in Jira. So I can see which is open or which is uh, too late or so on. This is my section with my task. This section are my news from Office 365 and at least in Confluence. So my cockpit are only the information which interested for me. Here I can see some mentions and comments from Office 365 and at least in Jira. So if I have a mention, I will show this in this section area. This is my cockpit. The next part is the Space Navigator. The Space Navigator in our Comunado Workplace Hub is an overview of the digital workplaces, uh, workspaces. So I get some visibility of my spaces. So you see, I find my information about some teams or projects. And in this project, due to the workplace for the energy branche, I will see, okay, I have a Microsoft Teams space and I have a SharePoint site. You see also the digital workplace for the Gesundheitssektor. I have a Microsoft Teams site, a SharePoint site, I have a Confluence site, and I have a, a Gyro board. I will see all information in this case and I, I can, I will go to, to the, this application if I click on the, uh, on the tool. So I have some, I have the information, all the information on in one place to, to my team. You see at a glance, the existing workspace, for example, Microsoft Teams, SharePoint, online sites, Gyro boards, Confluence, and so on. And 
you see here, that's the example. And I, I have the possibility to have automatically provisioning of my rules. Yes, so I can can show here a search with keywords, contact person, and I will get the, the information and as a, the results, and then I can go to, to my project rooms. So I have easily access to my workspaces and I have also the, the possibility to integrate this in Microsoft Teams. So we have a space navigator app for Microsoft Teams and you can add this here as an app and then you can implement in, in your organization and your IT structure and then your yes your user can use this app and and go and and will show your rooms team rooms sharepoint site and so on this is our space navigator yes i, I have some question i will look Yes. Is there some separate index to display this together? How do you filter specify as specify that the board or the space belongs to a team's project and task? And how do you handle Datenhoid? Is this on an internal hosted SharePoint? Um, this is only um, SharePoint Online or SharePoint Online. And Yes, um, this is the first question I, I will um, get the answer soon. I, I will go to the presentation and after that I will, will do questions. So the Commonado Workplace Hub, you can unlock the full potential of your digital workplace. For, for users with my Workplace Hub, I have all relevant topics at a glance for communication departments. Now I can involve all my colleagues in my communication measures. And for the IT department, the solution gives me the opportunity to structure a better IT landscape without high, without high effort. So you see our workplace hub is one solution to integrate, to connect the both worlds. But, but which other integrations are available? So now I will show, show you some further integrations with Microsoft Teams. And let me tell you a, a use case. Olivia is a product manager. She uses Microsoft Teams to organize the project, project and communicate with the colleagues. Yes. Second, Olivia used a lesson conference for comprehensive concepts and organizes import information and central knowledge management. Then further, Olivia, Olivia uses Jira to organize her task of different projects and both keeps an overview of many of its topics. So you see they use these three tools and the fourth tool is she uses Microsoft SharePoint Online to store all documents and shares them with two OneDrive colleagues and partners. You, you see they have all tools of, all mainly tools of uh, Office 365 and uh, Atlassian. But what makes Olivia's work easier? Olivia's work makes it easier with integrations. We have Teams, SharePoint, Confluence, and Jira, and you have different integrations. You have integrations via tabs, 
to Confluence and SharePoint. You have integrations of conversations from Jira and Confluence. And you can link with uh, Commonado SharePoint online connector. You can link the documentation library from SharePoint to a Confluence site. So now I will show you some examples. So let me show the functionality for, for, for you. First, we have the example Jira issues as Teams tab. And this is a, a short demonstration. You see the Microsoft Teams. And you have the possibility to add a, a card with a Jira Cloud. And here you can, yes, you can inside your Jira issues. And from Microsoft Teams, you can go to, as you have here, the, the card. You use Jira Cloud, and you must connect your, your server, and then you can insert your, your board. And then you have your board for, for your project, and you will show, can show your, your issues. And if you click on the issue, you go to the Jira board. So this is the first integration, the first example. The next is, the next example is to insert a Confluent page directly in a conversation. So we have a conversation within Microsoft Teams. And here you have, yes, a you start a conversation and you can link your conversation from Confluence. You can, and then you can click on this and yes, Confluence will open. Once again, you have the possibility to, to click on the Confluence Cloud button. Then you can start the conversation. And then you have to all, to, to for example, a project or conversations from different tools in one streamline. Also, you have the possibility to embed a Jira issue directly into a conversation. So you search your issue, you can insert this in the conversation, you can give a comment and then you click on this issue and then you will go to the trial board. So, so this is not a functionality from Comunado, it's a, a standard functionality within Microsoft Teams uh, and the connect, connect, connections with Jira Cloud and Confluent Cloud. The next topic, the next example is that you can find tickets from Microsoft Teams directly via a chatbot. You can insert a question and yes, you, you can, the, the chatbot will, will give you a, a response, a search, search result, 
and then you can yes click on it and go to your to your ticket you see it's about it within just the Jaya cloud and you can yes find and search your tickets This, uh, this example. The next example is to comment on other content directly from Teams. You can search your, your ticket and if you find your ticket, you can comment directly on this ticket as you will see here. You can use uh, the command, commando command, the, the word keyword. As we will show us, that's my comment. And you will get a response. And if you show in your ticket, go to your ticket, and as then I will see my comment which I write within Microsoft Teams. This is all. Uh, a further possibility to to use the connections between Java Cloud and Confluence Cloud with Microsoft Teams. The last example from my side is to integrate documents in Confluence from SharePoint Online. Our SharePoint Online connector from, it's our connector from, from Comunado side you can insert directly um, yes, uh, a SharePoint list, uh, a SharePoint document list in, in your Confluence site. And further, you can insert also only a document. So you can insert a list, a library, or a document. So this, this example is a document. So we have a SharePoint side, and on the right side, you, we have integrate this document based in SharePoint Online, but you can display this here directly in Confluence. For this example, you need this SharePoint Online Connector. Whole libraries you will get in this example. We will show. So you can insert SharePoint online list. So, yes. So we add this list and okay, we, we click update and then we will get a whole list with 
folders, documents on my SharePoint, uh, on my Confluence site. So, yes, and you, you can navigate to, to these folders and a list as well. So, for this SharePoint Online Connector, you have on the one side the possibility to, you, uh, to integrate only one document or a whole SharePoint document list. This is our integrations. Uh, on the one side, our integration of both worlds uh, with uh, Comunado Workplace Hub. Yeah, so based on the, this SharePoint online site to integrate information on this site. And on the other side, we have this integrations with the Atlassian Cloud um, connector and the, the, this SharePoint online connector. So I, I hope you will you have seen some possibilities to connect both worlds and I hope you will, as you will need this for the first time and you will, um, as I hope you will connect both worlds in the future. It's very important because we have some informations or some functionality which are better with, with Microsoft 365. On the other side, we have better functionality and use cases which are better with Confluence and um, Jira. So, I have a wish for you use or you try to use to connect to both worlds in the future. This was my presentation. Now we have, have some time for questions. Uh, there's an easy question here uh, in the chat. Uh, do we get a copy of the slides? I asked for one, so I hope we get one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that's the easy question. Easy question is the answer. Yes, we will get a copy of the slides. So, uh, and now to the more difficult questions. Uh, so everybody is now on the panel. Uh, if you want to ask directly, just do so. And we have four questions in the... Yes. Uh, Florian, should I read them out to you and you try to answer them? So uh, the first one you already answered during your your presentation with the common index and, and with the with the border yes. space that belongs to that is what it was answered. So um, and there are two questions that are uh, linked, I guess. So first one, how do you handle Datenhoid? So to, that goes to the question, is this an, a hosted SharePoint or, so, or is this uh, really Microsoft 365 SharePoint? Yes, this is a Microsoft 365 yeah, and SharePoint. Who is the um, yeah, I say, authority over the data, basically. So, and then um, do you, how do you handle DSGVO GDPR? Mm. Um, so I guess both questions go a bit to your architecture with the Comunado Digital Workplace Hub. Is this, a, is this a software as a service that you offer or is this something that customers can install in their Microsoft 365 instance or how does it work? Mm. And, and how, do, how does data, how is data being handled? Uh, yes, our Comunado Workplace Hub is uh, a solution from our side. It's a technical solution, uh, the, the data within the Comunado Workplace Hub are customer data. So we, we um, install this solution at customer side and the, the content and so on uh, and the administration are on customer side. 
Okay, so it's it's kind of a plugin or whatever for the yeah uh, yeah a uh, little bit more more uh, as a plugin, but uh, on on this uh, yeah. yeah. But on the customer instance, I do not have to open up a Comunado digital workplace right. hub account no, no, and no, no. use some service. Also. Okay, yeah. so that answers the, the question of the data uh, authority, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, and also the GDPR question. GDPR is as good as your site's GDPR compliances. The digital workplace hub doesn't change that, I would say. Uh, this is the second uh, question, question here. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Do you handle this? Okay, GDPR. Um, does integration consider permissions? And yes, uh, it's. I cannot answer this question. For yeah, no, I don't cannot answer uh, this question directly. So. Okay, we, we always have this community post. So uh, if you have an answer or if somebody, one of your colleagues yeah. can answer that, we can always continue the discussion online. And if you want to take this question for later answer, then yeah, yeah. it's always possible. So the last question is, do you have a shared user base in Office 365 or, or at less in access? I mean, Office 365 basically means Active Directory. Mm -hmm. And at less in access is the at less inside of that. So, um, can you explain this question, um, Frank? Frank, yes. <laughs> Frank, yeah, it's so like when you uh, want to comment on a ticket or on a page or do some actions on Jira or Confluence, you need to be uh, a dedicated user there. Mm -hmm. uh, and when you want to have like. Um, consistency over the systems you need to have the same user base so basically you cannot be like user x on system jira and you cannot be user y on system mm -hmm. in order to link it uh, so uh, it's better to have the same user base uh, yeah. and i was just curious if it's like an office 365 or if you use the one from atlassian yes um it's too technical for me, but uh, we use the chat user. And I think um, we use the uh, Office 365. But uh, yes, it's the, the question to to answer the, uh, it's, it's the future. I, I, will, I will, can you, I, I will give you this question, uh, this answer and after our event here okay. to, it's too technical for my side, yes. Okay, so let me just copy that so that I can yes. include it in, in the notes afterwards. Thank you. Um, can I copy that? Okay. And it is particularly interesting regarding yeah, it, permissions questions. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I will give you now a wrong uh, answer. It's oh, not mine okay. <laughs> to just. <laughs> So, any other questions from the audience? What? Uh, yes, I have a question. So, do you have plans to also integrate with Jira server hosted, not only Jira Cloud, for the customers like us that we are only using hosted services? Uh, because we have Office 365, but we have Jira and Confluence only on um, premise. Yeah. Yeah. Our Commonado Workplace Hub is also possible with with server, so you you need you don't need uh, the cloud, but uh, the connectors within Microsoft Teams are only the cloud. So, but but th that's uh, not only uh, not our solutions. So so our solution Commonado Workplace Hub is. Uh, with uh, uh, poss possible with with server, uh, we have a customer in uh, Austria, which we are uh, with this customer we have developed this solution, and this was a server uh, confluence and Java server solution. Okay. 
Any other questions? Do you plan on having like a reverse uh, kind of thing? So, I mean, we don't use SharePoint that much. Do you plan on uh, having more integrations on uh, conference in, in building such a dashboard, I would say? You mean, uh, is it possible to, to use Confluence instead SharePoint? Yes. Um, yes, this question is, uh, is very good. Um, from my side, I think it's possible, but uh, at the moment we have not solution. But yes, if we find a, a customer to develop with us, we, we think technical, it, it's possible, yes. Yeah. So um, I have another question. Could you describe what a typical workplace hub project looks like? So what do you have to do before you set it up? Um, is there a lot of analysis beforehand or is it just plug and play? No, uh, we, we need to analysis. Um, normally we, we start with a short, um, yes, digital workplace strategy or IT strategy to, to show uh, how, uh, which tools we, we have within a company. Okay. Yes, to, oh, oh one moment, I, have, I see you and I don't see you. No, no. <laughs> so um, yes, we, we do some analysis to to show uh, which which application we have within the company, and then we 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 do a, a strategy a, a vision for for the for the whole digital workplace. We 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 say okay, what's our aim to for a digital workplace. What's the aim for the users within the digital workplace? And yes, within our technical um, developments, we, we do very, very often or very, yeah, we, we do change management, we, we do uh, adoption and this technical um, Transformation is only one part in our uh, whole change management for the digital workplace. So we do some analysis and we do um, create a, a vision, a strategy, then a training plan, a adoption plan, and so on. And uh, yes, so we have two, two lanes. On the one side, we have a technical lane. On, on the other side, we have a uh, adoption lane, a uh, change management lane to, to, yes, to to connect this uh, or the, adopt the, the users uh, for a holistic digital workplace. Okay. Uh, um, sorry, I have another one. Uh, can you uh, give like a rough estimate on how, on which size are the companies you uh, gave it to? Uh, so the adoption rate is like interesting. Uh, what did you mean with adoption rate? Uh, what would? Uh, yeah, I mean on the on the on small instances. This is obviously easier because you have like less faces, less projects, and everything. And I'm just like curious on how uh, long the projects take and how many users you have in your typical projects to introduce that. Yes, we have customers with 200 users. We, are, we have customers with 5,000, 10,000 users. Uh, so we have different, uh, different adoption plans and uh, which must scale for some, uh, for, the, for the quantity of the user. Um, but yeah, a person adoption we we say thirty person and uh, a technical project on the one side and seventy uh, yeah, seventy percent are adoption 
and change management. Okay, thank you. And I guess within the limits of SharePoint, you can customize that to the customer's needs as necessary. So branding, corporate identity, whatever yeah. can be adopted to the customer. Yeah. Okay. Um, I saw on your presentations, or maybe I was mistaken, that um, your workplace hub also in includes other applications within the enterprise. Like, did I see SAP? I don't know, maybe not. But um, so you can include other stuff than Atlassian on this dashboard. Yes, it's our future, um, well, our vision. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but uh, yes, actually we, we have no customer uh, because the SAP programs are big as well. Um, and yes, but we say on the technical side, it's possible and if our customer needs a solution, we, we will develop with, with the customer. But okay. at the moment, we need a customer with SAP and the solution. <laughs> okay. So that would be a, a, on, on a per project basis. But basically, you can integrate everything that's around. Yeah. So if the customer has it and wants it, you can yeah. integrate it together yeah. with all that stuff. Okay. Yeah. Um, one question from my side, um, recent acquisitions of, um, of Atlassian, any experiences with integration of Ops Genie, for example, um, via Jira or standalone, something in that area? No, has it happened? No, it's, hmm? uh, it's I, I don't de uh, too deep, uh, in this Atlassian world. Okay. But yes, write down your question and, and I, I will uh, answer from this my colleagues. I will do that. So if there are questions from the audience, just interrupt me. So, but I will just continue asking until interrupted. Um, I have another question. Um, so I'm an Office 365 customer and it changes very rapidly. So every week I have a new feature, especially Teams is, is growing by leaps and bounds. And um, the teams of today is not the teams of last year. So how do you handle that in your digital workplace? Hub? So what is the, I don't know, follow up maintenance cost for such a project if Teams changes every, I don't know, quarter, very substantially, for example, or SharePoint changes every quarter. Um, how do you handle that? How do you how handle it? How do your customers handle that? Yes. Uh, first, with information, 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 <laughs> and communication. Mm -hmm. um, with customers, we 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 have we we give our customers some information that Office three sixty five will change some. Um, some functionality, okay. um, some functions, and we will give us uh, our customers this information, and um, then our customers will present this in a community um, on the internet and so on. This is the first way. Um, from the technical side, um, we we see or we we get, uh, we will get the information from Microsoft too, and then we we check if our Commonado Workplace Hub, uh, if, if the functionality is given. Yeah? If, is, must we do an update or is, 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 is the button on the left side only, uh, also on the left side or so on. So um, this will be check uh, in the background and and we will update that. Um, the third part is that we have an offer for our customers that we have a special offer in, in which way that we offer an expert talk. 
to our customer. Hmm. If you say, okay, you will get a newsletter or um, monthly uh, a short summary with new features and updates of Office 365. Um, this, this can be possible uh, like a, a video or the expert talk uh, personally with, with me or so on. And this is a special offer for our customers. So to okay. Extend, okay, you can offer, uh, you can order this offer, uh, offer and then we will show you some new informations uh, like a blog or so on. And um, so we, we can, uh, we tell the customer, we can your application or an, your environment and we can say to you what will change in your environment do you do you have big trouble or no trouble okay and do you also offer some kind of i don't know support subscription that you basically will maintain my environment up to date so basically yeah. something like that yeah so that i that i don't have to bother bother about that do you just advise me, this is the quarterly Microsoft update and this is what we are going to update in your system. Yeah. And here's the video that shows you what changes. Or yes. something like that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So um, maybe a bit from the commercial side, um, Atlassian and Microsoft license models are, I would say quite different. Um, Microsoft is very flexible. You can mix and match different licenses and license levels and add-ons and whatnot um, and can assign them to individual users. Uh, Atlassian, if you have a premium license, everybody has a premium license. So that's uh, simpler and more expensive <laughs> normally. But uh, how do you handle those different licenses model and what does your license model look like? Do I need the same licenses for uh, as for as many GDI users that I have, or can I assign the digital workplace hub to to specific users and only have to license those users? Or how do you handle that? Or do you do you take license fees at all, or is mm -hmm. that all paid with the integration project? I don't. Mm -hmm. uh, our license model is to pay for users. So the users that are actually using the Workplace Hub concurrently um, or now named? Uh, named users. So named users. Yes. So, so let's say I have a 500 user Jira license. Uh, I pay for 500 users digital workplace. No, 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 no. no okay, <laughs> that's the only. Okay, only used. So. Okay. Uh, 500. Uh, so. You. you yes. I think which uh, with with every email address okay. to to use this portal or this workplace hub, this user will pay. Okay, so each active user with an email yes, address. Yes, active basically. user. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so that's that's that. Um, so I have at least some flexibility there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It, it, it's it's like Microsoft. Uh, this way, okay. yes. So, with that, that's the end of our evening. Um, thank you for your presentation and for answering all our questions. Um, yeah. And uh, we hope to see you again sometime in the real, hopefully. Um, and join us again next week. And that's it for tonight. Thank you very much. Have a nice Thank day. You. Thank you.